Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, Microsoft rolled out their latest Patch Tuesday security updates for Windows 11. And for Windows 11 version 22H2, the update was KB5021255. And for Windows 11 21H2, the original release, the update was KB5021234. Now, I did post videos on both those updates, and I'll leave links to those in the description. Now, unfortunately, once again, um, there are reports now that are coming in where both those updates, um, especially the update for Windows 11 22H2, KB5021255, are causing installation issues where the updates, mainly on Windows 11 22H2, as mentioned, those updates are failing to install and are generating the error code 0x800F081F. Now, Microsoft at this stage has yet to acknowledge the issues. It's not a known issue over on their health dashboard, but although Microsoft hasn't acknowledged the issue officially at this stage regarding Windows 11 with um, the updates failing to install with that error code, um, there are numerous reports, and I have actually had one or two comments on this channel since those updates rolled out, that uh, users and viewers are seeing the error code 0x800F081F. Now, at this stage, as mentioned, Microsoft um, hasn't f officially acknowledged the issues with the Windows 11 updates, but there are a couple of things you can try until Microsoft does resolve the issue or um, re release a permanent fix for that installation issue and those problems. And there are one or two things you can try, in case you're unaware, to try and resolve the issue. Now, before we take a, a quick look at some things you can try, um, I will leave one or two videos in the description um, where I go through a more in-depth look at some things um, and solutions you can try to try and resolve general Windows update issues. But um, just to do a quick recap for the purpose of today's video, what I always do suggest if you are experiencing any issues with any updates, the first thing you should do is restart your device and then try and reinstall and download the update. Another thing you can try is you can run uh, Windows PowerShell or Command Prompt as administrator and you can try the good old SFC scan now. And you just type that in, SFC space forward slash scan now, hit enter, and that will go through a process where it will scan your system files. And if it does find any corrupt files, it will um, replace those and repair those files. And this could take a couple of minutes to a half an hour, hour depending on your system and your drive. And um, once that's finished, um, if it does find any errors, it will repair them. And then what I always do suggest is um, restarting your device and another thing you can try is you can head to your settings app and you just head to, on the system page you can head down to troubleshoot other troubleshooters and you can run the windows update troubleshooter and um and something i do suggest you can try especially if you are an advanced user is you can head over to your c drive or the drive that your operating system is installed on, head over to the Windows system folder and the software distribution. This is where all the data is stored for Windows updates. You can um, delete all the, um, the contents of this folder, go through all the different uh, prompts that Windows will warn you with and just delete and then restart your device and that will uh, repopulate this folder once again and that could also resolve the issue so those are a couple of things you can try if you are experiencing um, general update issues or this latest issue um, where those two updates windows 11 22h2 and 21h2 are failing to install with that error code and as mentioned i'll leave links to videos that will guide you through some steps to fix general update issues if that would be of interest so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one